Before I start the video, I should just apologise that I have had laryngitis for the last two weeks and my voice isn't back yet, so if it breaks up, I do apologise. In this video, I want to show you the new keyword spider I've been working on and I, the reason I've worked on this is that a lot of people tell me that they can't afford Web Content Studio because it's not cheap, but they would love to have the spider functionality. Well, with this tool, I've actually gone one step further because in Web Content Studio, when you're choosing keywords, it's a multi-step process. But what I've tried to do here is to make it a one-step process. And I can demonstrate it for you. There is a lot of number crunching going on, so it does take a minute or two to run the analysis. But other than typing in the keyword phrase that you want to write about, whoops, let's try dental implants. Other than writing that, typing that in, and you can select the Google data center, so if you want google.com or google.uk, um, co-uk, that's up to you. You can also change the Googles here. You can add in your own Googles so that you can use the spider for Googles that aren't actually included here. This ignore list is a list of stop words which the spider will ignore as well, and you can add to that. So we've got three levels, simple, default, detailed. The default is fine for most people. If you want a, a quick run, simple will be a little bit quicker. Detailed will take a little bit longer and will give you more results. But let's just stick to default and click on the spider button. And when you do that, the spider will then download the pages and go through a series of steps. Those steps you'll see in the progress here. First off, the spider goes and looks for potential theme words, two word phrases, three word phrases and four word phrases. And so it's analyzing the top 10 pages on Google. Once it's done that, it will then do an initial screening to hopefully reduce the number of potential theme words. So you can see there it's now screening, we're screening two word phrases now. It's already done the theme words. It will then do three word phrases and four word phrases. I'm going to let this run in real time so you can see how long it actually does take. This temporary ignore list, these domains will be ignored. So in my analysis, I very rarely include Facebook or YouTube or Amazon because I don't think they have enough theme words on there to make it worthwhile. As you can see, we've also got up here a settings menu which will give you level give you access to these spider levels but you can just use the uh, radio box over here and also lists will just open up the google centers and the ignore list so we're now through the initial screening this step actually takes the longest it's analyzing theme words so it's taking the theme words from the initial screening and it's now checking them against the top 10 pages said this will take a moment or two and then it will look at two word phrases three word phrases and four word phrases those steps are a lot quicker and the reason they're quicker is there's just a lot fewer phrases with theme words it might be looking at six or seven hundred theme words okay we're now finished and what we've got is theme words these are single words that were found on the top 10 pages. And the number you can see after the pipe is the number of the top 10 pages they were found on. Now it looks to me like one of the web pages could not be spidered because I would expect dental and implants to appear on 10 out of 10 pages and it's only on nine. But this list will go down to five. So it shows you the words are on five or more of the pages. If there's any words in here that you think should be added to the ignore list, you can do that. You can open the ignore list, you can add words and phrases here. So if we just have a look down the word C, S E E, you could add that to the ignore list. So you won't get that again in future spiders. And then on this side, we've got two, three, and four word phrases. And again, the number of pages they're found on. You will find some duplicates. You can see this is just a duplicate of the top two, but with a question mark. So you can delete those and you can go down and delete anything else you don't want. You may even decide that you only want 
keywords appear on six or more of the top 10 pages. So you could just grab all those that are fives and delete them. I'll delete that six as well. And then when you're happy, you can strip the numbers and get clean lists. Those clean lists can be exported to a text file or to the clipboard. Let me just copy to the clipboard and open a text editor. Okay, here's a text editor and I can just paste those in. So the theme report then has theme words and then theme phrases. So that's something you can give your writer if you're using a writer. If you're using Web Content Studio, the best thing to do is to export them comma delimited and to the clipboard and then you can actually paste that directly into Web Content Studio and you'll have those split between one word and multi-word phrases within that software. Just before I finish, I should say that once all of the bugs are ironed out and this is working properly, I will be integrating a version of it into Web Content Studio so that Web Content Studio users can do this simple one-click spidering. That particular spider will have a little bit more detail. So instead of just simple default and detailed, you're actually going to be able to define the date, define those parameters which control simple default and detail. So that's the keyword spider. I'm releasing it as a standalone product soon. And during the release, I'm going to be releasing it for the cheapest price that it will ever appear at. And after the release period, that price will go up. So if you're interested, then sign up on the web page below. There's a form you can fill in and I will send you a notification when it's ready uh, for release. That list is only going to be used for this notification. It will not be used for anything else. So you don't have to worry about ending up on lists and then getting spam emails. I'm only going to use it to notify you when this software is released. After the release, I'll delete that list. So that's it. If you want to find out more details of this when it's released, just sign up on that form.